now an excerpt from Cinderella by the Grimm Brothers. This time the bird threw down to her a dress that was more splendid and magnificent than any she had yet had, and the slippers were pure as gold. When she arrived at the festival in this dress, everyone was so astonished that they did not know what to say. The prince danced only with her, and whether anyone else asked her to dance, he would say, she is my dance partner. When evening came, Cinderella wanted to leave, and the prince tried to escort her, but she ran away from him so quickly that he could not follow her. The prince, however, had set a trap. He had the entire stairwell smeared with pitch. Then she ran down the stairs, her left slipper stuck in the pitch. The prince picked it up. It was a small and dainty and a pure as gold. The next morning, he went with it to the man and said to him, no one shall be my wife, except for the one whose foot fits this golden shoe. The two sisters were happy to hear this, for they had pretty feet. With her mother standing by, the older one took the shoe into her bedroom to try it on. She could not get her big toe in it, for the, sh the shoe was too small for her. Then her mother gave her a knife and said, cut off your toe. When you are queen, you will no longer have to go on foot. The girl cut off her toe, forced her foot into the shoe, swallowed the pain, and went out to the prince. He took her on his horse as his bride and rode away with her. However, they had, they had to ride past the grave, and there on the hazel tree sat the two pigeons trying, crying out, Rook de goo, rook de goo. There's blood in the shoe. The shoe is too tight. This bride is not right. Then he looked at her foot and saw how the blood was running from it. His horse around and took the false bride home again, saying she was not the right one and that the other sister should try on the shoe. She went into her bedroom and got her toes into the shoe all right, but her heel was too large. Then her mother gave her a knife and said, cut off a piece of your heel. When you are queen, you, are, you will no longer have to go on foot. The girl cut a piece of her heel, forced her foot into the shoe, swallowed the pain and went out to the prince. He took her on his horse as his bride and rode away with her. When they passed the hazel tree, the two pigeons were sitting in it and they cried out, rickety goo, rickety goo, there's blood in the shoe. The shoe is too tight. This bride is not right. He looked down at her foot and saw how the blood was running out of her shoe and how it was, had stained her white stocking all red. Then he turned his horse around and took the false bride home again. This is not the right one either, he said. Do you have any other daughters? No, said the man. There is only a deformed little Cinderella from my first wife, but she cannot possibly be the bride. The prince told him to send her to him. But the mother answered, oh no, she is much too dirty. She cannot be seen. But the prince insisted on it and they had to call Cinderella. She first washed her hands and face clean, and then she went and bowed down before the prince, who gave her the golden shoe. She sat down on a stool, pulled her foot out of the heavy wooden shoe, and put it into the slipper, and it fit her perfectly. When she stood up, the prince looked into her face, and he recognized the beautiful girl who had danced with him. He cried out, she is my true bride. The stepmother and the two sisters were horrified and turned pale with anger. The prince, however, took Cinderella onto his horse and rode away with her. As they passed by the hazel tree, the two white pigeons cried out, Rook de goo, rook de goo, no blood's in the shoe. The shoe's not too tight. This bride is right. After they had cried out, they both flew down and lit on Cinderella's shoulders, one on the right, the other on the left and remained sitting there. When the wedding with the prince was to be held, the two false sisters came, wanting to gain favor with Cinderella and to share her good fortune. When the bridal couple walked into the church, the older sister walked on, the, on their right side and the younger on their left side, and the pigeons pecked out one eye from each of them. Afterwards, as they came out of the church, the older one was on the left side and the younger one was on the right side, and then the pigeons pecked out the other eye from each of them. And thus from their wickedness and falsehood, they were punished with blindness as long as they lived. 
And thus, for their wickedness and falsehood, they were punished with blindness as long as they lived. 